Hey guys, I got this great arch at, I'm sorry about my voice. <clears throat> I've had allergies really bad, so excuse my voice. Um, I got this outdoor garden arch and I am just um, taking the little picks off of it that you stick in the ground. I'm using um, my wire cutters and it's coming off pretty easy, but you sort of have to bend it back and forth. <clears throat> Let me drink some water to see if I can get this better. Um, anyway, I really love the look of this. It came out really nice. <clears throat> and I think there are so many different ideas that you can get with this. Because it does give sort of like an architectural look. Or even you can use it as a vintage look. Um... So I'm loving these little, I guess, archways that you could put in your yard, but I'm going to put it on my door. As you can see, some of them are a little bit harder, but they do come off. I am going to use um, the little black ties that I got from Walmart a while back, and I'm just going to tie them together with them. They are the zip ties. I'm using the same color so you can't really see um, them because they will sort of blend in. And you just pull it really tight. You can't really, it, it's not going to be a standalone. This is something you would have to hang on a wall. But I'm using it for my door. And I'm thinking about making a couple other ones. I might spray paint one white. And I, you can even make it into three of them or four of them. But I love the way this turned out. I love the look of it. And it's pretty easy to make. So I was excited to do this. Um, I wasn't sure at, the, at one point of how it was going to turn out. But... There are so many different ideas that you can do with it. So I'm putting a little bit of glue there and then I'll probably put a zip tie also. So add a little bit of glue, then zip tie it, and then cut the zip tie off so you don't see it. And if you do paint it any different color, put the zip ties on it first. So when you either, sp I would spray paint it actually. It would be so much easier. And I would get a spray paint with a primer in it since it is like a plastic. But how cool that would look. I think I'm going to do a white one and just sort of distress it because I think that would be really cool looking. I haven't seen them lately though at the Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna have to go to a couple different Dollar Trees to try to find it. But as you can see, it holds pretty well with the ties. I got this spine, which is also from the Dollar Tree. It's got like, I guess it looks like philodendrons on them. And it's all ready in a wired form. So I'm just going to form it into a circle. And then I'm going to put it on my arch. It's nice that it is bendable because you can bend it any way that you want to. And then I've got some heather that I'm going to put in with the little wreath that I'm making. So as you can see, I'm not gluing anything. I'm just, because it's got a tight wire around it, you can just push it into those wires. So you really don't have to glue it. And then if you wanted to change it down the road um, for different holidays, you could do that. I was looking to do like maybe something for summer, something for fall with it, even Christmas. 
So you can change it year round to the holidays that you like. And again, I'm just taking the zip ties and I'm going to zip tie it to the arch. I'm not sure what you call that. I guess it's like a garden arch. But really, I can't wait to spray paint one white and distress it a little bit. That would be so cool looking. I just hope I can find them again. Has anybody else got allergies? Oh my goodness. I've been dragging all week. It zaps all my energy. And my throat and my nose runs and my head hurts. It's miserable. I am taking allergy medicine when I remember to take it. Some of it makes me tired. But April's always the worst month for me allergies and then it goes a little bit into May and then when summer hits back to normal thank goodness okay also have some baby's breath that I am going to insert it also with the heather I wanted to put some white in there to brighten it up a little bit because it looked really dark with it being black and the heather being dark so I'm gonna add some baby's breath Again, I'm just pushing it into the wire. Like every now and then I might use some glue if it needs to, if a leaf falls off of it. So I can just put it back together. But there it is. I think it's beautiful. I really do. I love the way it turned out. It's very elegant, very delicate looking. And I just, like I said, I love it. I loved it on my door. It just added so much character. There it is on my door. Isn't that pretty? I also added like a little welcome sign that I could take off or put on because you can add little messages at the top if you want to. If you just had something that was like maybe two inches high and maybe eight or ten inches long. But I love the way it turned out. So pretty. Next is I got this little shadow box from Dollar Tree and I've got this material that I got at Walmart's in their craft section. They already have them like bits and pieces that are already cut that you could just pick up at like $1.47 I believe. So I'm going to cut this to put inside of the board. And then, like I said, I just measured it, used a pencil to draw around, and I'm going to cut it. And believe it or not, even though I measured it, geez, I did cut it short in one little place, so I had to sort of cut another little piece, glue it to the bottom of the shadow box, and then I put the material over it. Somehow I always managed to mess this up. And it's just like a short little piece of cloth but it's you know sometimes you don't think you're going to cut it short but you do this is where I sort of messed up I think I should have gotten it a lot straighter but I didn't so it wasn't exactly really, really straight. Yeah, 
Anyway, with any DIYs, usually it's fixable. So it wasn't a really big deal. It was this part that I sort of messed up on. Even though I'm trying to cut it straight, somehow <laughs> it messed up. It came up a little tiny bit short. Right now I'm going to paint it with my Waverly chalk paint. And when you paint, try to use long, even strokes because it just makes the paint look better. So after you paint over it, just go down with one long stroke so it looks even. And then I'm drying it with my heat gun. See that little piece? That's what I had to do. I had to put that little piece in because it was a little bit short. Then I'm using my glue stick to put the material in. I much prefer the glue stick to the glue gun because with the glue gun, sometimes it's you get a little bubble or you can feel the little rise in the material. Okay, now I'm just going to put the material and press it down and smooth it out. If you see that little edge up there in the corner, I just took a black magic marker and drew in some black so you don't see that little edge. Okay, a little square wooden block that I'm going to put in the middle of this box. And then I'm going to put the little quote on top of that. Sort of gives it like a 3D effect. And in a world, you, know, you could be anything. Be kind. I have my Waverly Wax Antique. And I'm just going to go through and just give it a little more dimension. Because I'm going to be putting this on some wire and the wire is very like old and rustic looking. So I wanted it to sort of fit in with that rustic look. And there is my little rustic piece. I got this at, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. I think it was like eight bucks. I just like the look of it. And I'm taking some Dollar Tree ribbon, the little black and white checkered ribbon, and I'm going to just string it through the wire all the way around.
And I just tied a little bow at the top. going to take the box and I'm going to take that little peg actually it was upside down so I had to take it off and switch it around so that I could use the little tag or the hanger on the back of the box so that I could tie it to the back of this um, chicken wire And I'm going to put the little ribbon in the back of the hanger and tie it to the back of the wire. Trying to center it as much as possible. And again, this piece is going to be hung also. It might look crooked at this moment, but it, when it hangs, it's gonna hang straight. And and there it is, it's on my other door. And I added some uh, wildflowers to the top of it. The next is this, I guess it looks like a number eight with the word love written on it. Got this at the Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago. And I'm going to paint that love letters white so it'll pop more when I add the flowers to it. So I'm just going over it. I'll do it on the back and to the sides till it's totally covered with the white chalk paint from Waverly. I just felt the black would be too dark with the flowers that I'm going to put on it. And then I'm just going to dry it real quick with the heat gun. Just did a second coat just so that it would be totally covered. All right, I've got these green, I guess it's like a light green hydrangeas. I couldn't find a group of flowers that had 15 bundles because I used about 15 of these. So that would be like $15, 15 bundles of flowers. And this was the only one that I could actually find where I could get a lot of them. So I'm just going to go and glue all of these flowers to the wire. I pulled them off of the bundles and I'm just gluing all of them all the way around.
So it took a lot of those flowers. It took a long time to do this because it was so big, but it absolutely turned out beautiful. Um, I thought about doing like two colors, but I love the way that the variation in the greens, because in this particular hydrangea, um, there's a little bit of a darker green and a lighter green. And I guess my camera's not doing it justice because I'm sitting here looking at it in my doorway and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's really more of a, a paler green. This, I don't know, the color, I guess it could be my lights in my kitchen was making it more golden looking. But I think it turns out beautiful. Just gotta be patient because it is a lot of black wire. So you, I have to hold it up all the time to look to see where you could see the black and I would just continue to keep on adding more flowers. I got these heat gloves from Amazon so that I don't burn my fingers because it was hard doing this because you had to really get them close together so that it would look really, really full. And then I flipped it over because sometimes when you flip it over, some of them had come apart. So I just went through and glued them again from the back because you you'll be able to tell which one's like didn't get glued because they would come apart. So by doing this, you make sure that it's really solid and it stays together. And I just had some leftovers. So I'm just going through to add some where I think it may need it because a lot of these little flowers fell off. So I'm just placing them in different areas so I don't waste all those flowers. And there it is. Isn't it gorgeous? It's gorgeous. Turned out beautiful. So it could be great for a wedding, a shower, someone's birthday party maybe, anniversaries. It's gorgeous. I hope you will subscribe hit the notification bell and hit the like button because we love that you are enjoying our videos and my channel and just continue to watch my videos because we really appreciate all the views that we get and the comments and just you know be kind to each other it's still rough out in the world with the covid so there's my one with the chicken wire and there you could see the flowers that I added, more of like the wildflowers. And there's my little arch in my doorway. I love the way this turned out, guys. I can't wait to do another one. It was simple and easy to do. So go out and make some beautiful DIYs. You can. Go to my Facebook page and post some of your pictures. We will link it below. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.